Every part of Italy has its colors and flavors in its own regional dishes. And so is true with Tuscany. The charm in this part of the country is not only created by architecture, renaissance art, or breathtaking landscapes, but also from its wine and cuisine that is strongly inspired by peasant food. Being a farming land, the food might seem simple and rustic, but with the quality of fresh ingredients, we guarantee you'll have a wonderful and unforgettable gastronomical experience. Welcome to Gone Travel Channel, and today we look at some of the best food this marvelous region of Italy can offer with a little bonus at the end. So prepare your taste buds, and let's dig in. The Bread When visiting Tuscany, it will be very unlikely that your dinner won't start with some crostini. Thin pieces of toasted bread with various toppings. The most famous one is the chicken liver spread that originated in the 16th century and is supposedly the inspiration for French foie gras. Another typical topping is the lardo, a delicate slice of fat bacon or burrata and truffles that are a specialty in this region and are an important ingredient in lots of dishes here, especially in autumn, as the main truffle hunt occurs from October through late November. Another use of bread in Tuscany is in the famous panzanella, a salad full of flavors made from moistened stale bread and fresh summer vegetables topped with vinegar and olive oil, an easy and delicious dish you can prepare also at home. The soups. When we speak of Tuscan soups, we don't think of liquid chicken broths. Tuscan soups are full of strong dishes, often thickened with bread, as they used to be referred to as food for the poor. One of the most famous ones is Papa al Pomodoro, a thick tomato soup with basil served as a comfort food in the winter time, but can be prepared also in room temperature during the warmer months. Another famous soup is the ribolita, which literally means reboiled, usually leftover minestrone with black cabbage and cannelli beans served during the colder times of the year. The meat. Tuscany is a heaven for the carnivores. One of the most famous dishes here is the Besteca alla Fiorentina, a large T-bone steak from a local breed cow, grilled on coal and accompanied simply with rosemary, sage, and some olive oil. The original Fiorentina is served blue rare or al sangue, so be prepared to adjust the order to your taste preferences. Another famous use of meat here is the wild boar or chingiale, and is a tasty and juicy delicacy. A famous use of it is in the ragu served over some homemade pappardelle. Um, a dish worth traveling for. The desserts. No dinner would be complete without a proper dessert. Castagnaccio is a cake made from chestnut flour that gives the dessert an earthy flavor. Raisins and pine nuts sometimes accompanied with rosemary. One of the best known sweet treats are cantuccini or biscotti di prato made from flour, sugar, eggs, and usually almonds. You can eat them with your espresso or vinsanto, a dessert wine perfectly suited for dipping them in. Another typical treat from Tuscany is the panforte, a chewy dessert filled with nuts and fruits that is eaten all over Italy, usually during the Christmas time. The wine. The best way to enjoy your food is to accompany it with a good glass of wine and a glass of Chianti Classico is a great way to do so. 
This red wine can only be produced within designated zones and has a mild, spicy flavor with cherry notes. If you are a fan of dessert wine, try the Vinsanto, a sweet, golden-colored drink often used as a toasting tradition with an aroma of hazelnuts, apricots, or caramel and must age in the barrel for at least three years. A 15-year-old Vinsanto can truly be as sweet as honey. Bonus Food Markets when visiting this beautiful region, go to some of the small local markets where you can find fresh bread, cheese, salamis, and some amazing street food. A famous dish here is the Trippa alla Fiorentina, with a history tracing back to the Roman times. It is a dish prepared with beef intestine in a tomato base topped with pecorino. Another tasty dish is the bolito, Tasty beef meat cooked for a long time in a vegetable broth and topped with salsa verde. And finally, the famous Lampredalto, a bread with beef spleen prepared like the bolito and topped with salsa picante. It is a complexity of flavors that everyone should taste at least once. This is only a small list of tasty food that will await you in Tuscany. Did we inspire you to make a trip to this marvelous part of the world? What are your favorite Tuscan dishes? Let us know in the comments section below and keep watching our videos.